gosh, that gets me every single time. And then earlier doing the whole web shooting, you know, choo, 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 that was crazy. I'm starting to feel like I'm a superhero. But anyway, today we are doing legs and back. But guess what? This is a home workout with no equipment. So I'm so excited. All right, so let's go ahead and go. All right, guys, to start this off, we're doing advanced sumo squat. In order to do this, you're gonna need something around the house. It can be a chair, it can be a ball, it can be even one of your kids, it can be something, but something you need to be able to hold up, push out in front of you, and be able to hold it for a second or two. All right, so I want you to go ahead and watch me do this one. So, I'm gonna use this one, a stool, this is what I'm gonna use. So what you wanna do is you wanna get in a Wide stance, sumo, because you're not sumo, so boom, you know, whatever they do, they think. We need a wide stance. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna squat down, you're gonna push out, and then what you're gonna do, you're gonna check my, uh, my feet is, you're gonna go on your tiptoes and back down. So here we go. All right. Down, out, tiptoes, down, back, up. Down, out, tiptoes, down, back, up, down, back, two toes, down. Next one is called Beach Scissors. Another leg workout. All right, so let's go ahead and go. Fam, good job with hitting those last movement. Now we're moving on to let me in. You're gonna need a towel for this one. You could do it on the door or do it on this machine like I'm getting ready to do it now. But if you need more information on how to do it on the door, check the description down and you'll see how to do it in there. All right, so let's go ahead and go. All right, so in doing this, keep your core tight and guys, this is a back movement, so make sure your back is doing the movement, not just your arm, but your back. So squeeze that back muscle when you're doing it. All right, so squat down. You wanna lean into, um, lean backwards to where you're actually holding up your weight. Hold your abs in, coming as far as contract them, and then let's go.
my gosh, you see I'm already sweaty. So now we're going into another leg one, which is one leg squat jump. Get ready for your legs to burn on this one. All right, guys, so when performing this, go hand down on one knee, keep your core tight, and you're gonna explode off of the opposite leg. All right, let's go. Alright guys, good job on finishing the one leg squat jump. Now we're doing one leg squat. Now there's three ways to do this. Either you can do it on the door frame, which is the easy way. You can do it on the chair, which is the medium. Or you can do it with nothing but your body, which is a harder version of it. Now the movement is the same, depending on what you're using to assist you will determine how hard it is. I'm gonna use a chair right now because I'm a little tired, but again, there's three ways to do it. You can do it on the door frame where you're holding the door while you're doing the alternating legs. You can do it on the chair where you're sitting down on a chair and getting up and switching legs. Or again, you're not using anything at all where you're just switching legs, squatting down with one leg in the air. All right, so here we go. Uh, so, leg up. And you're gonna squat down onto the chair. And back up, leg down, alternate leg. Up, down, back up. Now it's the same thing you're gonna do for the door and without the chair. So without the chair, it would look something like this. Let's see if I can do this. Of course, a lot further down. But something like that, but a lot further down. I'm not ready for that. Man, look at me, I am drenched. Look at this, from just doing body work at home. So next one's called Let Me Up. Now there are plenty of ways to do this. Now I'm just gonna show you one of the ways, but for me, I'm doing it in my gym, so I'm gonna use the equipment that I have here. But at home, you can use your table, you can use your desk, or something like so, something that, can, that you will use to pull your body up. So the uh, performance or the technique is the same, regardless of what you're using. But again, this is where you're going to pull your body up. So this is another back one. And you can do this using your table, a desk, or something where you can pull your body weight up. All right, so 
was very easy, very simple for us doing the movement, but you determine how hard and difficult the movement will be. All right, so let's go and hit it. All right, fam. In order to do this, you're going to keep your core tight, all right? So again, muscle group that you're working out or primary muscle group is your uh, back. So we want to make sure your back is pulling all the way. Now, when it comes to your feet and your leg, you either can bend it at a 90 degree or you can have it straight. Having it straight makes it more, uh, makes it difficult, you know? Um, so again, there's plenty of ways of doing this. You can do it um, palm facing um, away from you, which is easier palm facing towards you, which is harder, and then you're um, using more of your bicep when you're doing it. So again, many different ways to do this. So you determine how hard you want to be, you determine where, what level that you need to do it on. I mean, you can even, even make it even more of this by adding a chair where you're placing your feet on top of. So again, there's plenty of ways to do this, um, but you determine how hard you want to be. So for me, I'm having my, um, my legs at a 90 degree, have my palms facing away from me, and then you're gonna pull up using your back muscle. All right, ready, let's go. guys good job on that last one now we're moving on to something called ankle hold this is a leg workout I'm enjoying this this is our last one for today's workout for our home workout with no equipment all right so let's go and hit this one all right fam here we go we want to make sure our core is tight we want our feet to be shorter width apart shorter width apart oh you see me moving. Anyway, so what you're gonna do is shoulder width apart, and then you're gonna bend over, grab your ankle, you're gonna go down and up. You wanna squat down and up. All right, guys, good job on completing your home workout with no equipment. I am so excited because, guys, I did it, I did it, I did it. Yeah, we just completed that thing. So, guys, if you did not understand what I was telling you as far as speaking it out, check the description now because I'm giving more information. I'm telling you what body part is being worked out and plus some other things on there as well as far as this video goes. So, if you haven't done so already, give your boy a thumbs up, thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, share the video, leave a comment, guys. That's how we're going to do it. So, I'm glad you guys uh, came along and joined me through this fitness journey for today. Please, guys, share the video, leave a comment, let me know what's going on. As always, this is where you at, bro. Signing out. Peace. See you in the next workout.